Yo, what's up, man? You know what it is. Your boy, Alistair, man, is here today. And there's something I got to talk about. People ask me, like, because they hear that I say that I'm an anarchist so much, that they're just questioning me, right? They want to know how I feel about police. Like, I've got a message asking me how I feel about police. And I'm like, okay. Like, ooh, that smile. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting off subject. But I'm going to just go ahead and throw this out there. I may be cool with a few of them. I may be cool with a few of them. I ain't finna lie. I may be. But there are those niggas that be so disrespectful. They, I feel the need that they need to catch them hands. Now. I like some polices, but most of them, I hate them, and I ain't finna lie. I want to smack them. I want to smack the pig out of them like I low-key do. But it's the fact that I was in a situation last night to where I was so heated up. I didn't care whether or not that this nigga had his badge. He was finna catch them hands. Now, y'all are probably wondering what I'm talking about. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw this out there. I used to work this gas station around the corner from my house called Come and Go, and it's a really cool place. Like, yeah, stuff expensive, but it's a really cool place. A lot of the workers there are cool, like no, like no lie, dead serious. But a lot of them also get on your nerves. So me and my mom, like I know I don't talk about my mom too much. That's because she doesn't like when I talk about her, especially in the video. She might hit me just for doing this, but um. So me and my mom went to a store. Oh, and not no, she's not abusive. She's really nice. She just doesn't like being talked about on camera, especially by me, even though she has her own YouTube page. Hey, y'all, subscribe to Plenty Crazy XD. That's my mama. <laughs> don't put any comments down there. Don't even, like, don't put any comments. Like, low-key, she will kill me. Like, I'm not even joking. But, okay, so back to the story. We went to come and go where I used to work and we went to go get some drinks and usually it, it's a Saturday, you know, there will be a lot of parties going on, but there hasn't been any parties recently because a lot of weird stuff has been happening in my town. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, listen to the next video like you will completely understand. So we went there and we pulled up into a parking space and there were three police there. Not one, not two, but three. Like, we don't know what's going on. So next thing you know, they come out of the store and they're just standing there, they're talking and stuff. And then me and my mom go in there. We get some drinks to do. Like, I used to work there, so some of them give me some deals. I'm not going to tell you why, but they, yeah, we got the drinks. You know, and we went and got back in the car. And as soon as my mom is about to pull off, right, this police is like flooring it after this nigga on the main street behind us, Dave Ward. And it's the fact that it wasn't the fact that the police has just randomly jumped into the car that angers me. It's the fact that I was so disrespected when my mom is about to we about to come home and this nigga has the nerve to like literally pull up like back up and not stop even though this this is a police and he know we coming bro like what is wrong with you i'm trying so hard not to cuss right now because that anger is starting to hit me again this nigga not only did he not stop like he saw us coming and still put it in reverse. The nigga still kept coming. Like, my mom had, like, see, I'm deleting a song off my phone around this time. Not knowing my drink. It, like, I knew that my drink was sitting on my lap, but I didn't know this nigga was backing up. Like, I looked and seen that first, but I thought he was going to stop when he seen this coming. But no, he kept coming. When I wasn't looking, my mom hit the brakes. My drink Flips over and slams down on me, bro. I'm soaked right now. 
You do not know how bad disrespect that was. I wanted to get out of that car and throw hands with this nigga. I was finna call, like, I was finna cuss him out. I was finna go ham on this nigga. He saw us coming, yet he still decided that it would be best to come on all because they wanted to harass this nigga. It's like, no, you already see a police coming at them, but why does three more cops have to go after that one nigga? That's what I'm saying. Obviously, if he done something bad besides a high-speed chase, y'all would have got a call from him, but no, y'all niggas deliberately almost hit us. I was soaked. I was feeling like, see, and that's the thing about cops. I feel like they get out, like, I feel like cops, they get over on too much stuff. Like, as I talked about in, like, the psycho police. Like, police get off on so much, so many things because they got a badge. But you just don't know. I am a real nigga, and I have been arrested before, bro. Just because, just because you got a badge don't mean you can't catch these hands. Like, I don't care. Badge or not. Eventually, as soon as you take off that badge, you're going to become a civilian. And I'm not going to lie. In the town where I live, if a police take his badge off and put it on his car, chances are within about three seconds, he'll get shot. That's just the type of town I live in. And chances... Nah, I'm not going to say that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say that. But that nigga was about to catch some hands. Like, I wasn't even joking. Like, I cannot stress how bad I hate most cops, especially racist cops. Like, dead serious. And if you're a police and you watching this and you one of them crooked niggas, I don't care if you butt hurt. Because if you are and you got a problem with madness, you can catch me. You can catch me outside. How about that? And catch them hands. How about that?